I put a whole lot of people. Yeah, in. That's a it's a '54 Cadillac. '54 Cadillac. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, it's on a it's like a suburban drive through. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I have no idea what the mileage is. That's gallons per mile. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gallons per mile. Yeah. It's a 2005 GMC truck. Yeah. I took a crash truck and I bought the ambulance and just put the two together. Now, yep. what's the registration? <laughs> what do you think? I'm not going to say it. We're live now. It's I'm not, I'm not oh, giving okay, that up. <laughs> never mind. So it might be the 54 Cadillac. What scared me today? Yeah. I get up in the morning and I read the times, and uh, LA just cracked a huge counterfeit smog testing ring. Really? Yeah, I was wow. like, like, something like 200 smog testing places. They all bought this software that allows you to get around mm -hmm. testing your car. Okay. And back in my racing days, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty common. So I'm reading this thing like I hope they don't have any records because <laughs> yeah yeah you would just drive in there for 200 bucks. When when did they do this? When when did they buy? L.A. Times today. To, oh okay. So I bought like at the end of last year I bought a used Lexus SUV. Oh nice. I didn't know. And the guy you know he was doing little test drives. He was showing me around. You know I bought it from some random guy right. <laughs> And he's like, and you know, I've got a buddy at the smog test. You know, don't worry about the smog. Oh, yeah. And and it's you know, I'm sure it'll pass. It's and and if you want to get the car, we'll just go over there. It's yeah. fine, you know. So I did want to get the car. So so he goes over there, and I, I follow him in my car, and uh, I'm and, and I'm like I'm like sixty seconds behind him, right? I'm following him. So he pulls up. He walks back out. He's like, all right, it passed. <laughs> like, but there's no way you could have actually done the test. Hey, exactly. Chuck. Uh, How you doing, buddy? Oh, hey, man. Registration. Hey, like guys. It's legit. Hey, hey. So it's, it's I'm just John. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. a drummer of the Alley Cats. Yeah. Well, I was going <laughs> to say anything, but yeah. Oh, I'm glad it was so important it's today. Yeah. 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 You come to Alley Cats? Yeah, yeah. He was the drummer. You remember them from way back in the day? Oh, you do, yeah. What instrument do you Hey, Max, nice to meet you. I'm Eric. Eric? Good yeah. to meet you. Well, I brought you a present oh, before I forget. Hi, man. That's a little uh, moonshine. Oh, Have you seen man, those? after my own heart. Yeah, yeah. I had some of it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told him about you gave us those shots last time, and I was. he goes, oh, we've got to bring this to him. <laughs> Pocket size. <laughs> Very cool, guys. Thank you. Much appreciated. What led me down is I did some early on. So some around the Hey, how you doing? 2008, 2009. Earlier. Some of the early videos actually did pretty good. Here's one of them. But but the the headless time, ones that I haven't played yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. About being, oh, I'm too play on YouTube, yeah. and you don't really play. Yeah. And, and so I deliberately, like, no, I want to be a really touring guy. So I deliberately walked right? away from it and yeah. just doing other yeah. YouTube things. Which uh, and then, um, has a really but long in 2015, you know, oh, I've done some band the, uh, stuff. That and green one's cool, but career-wise, it's not too much, right? And so I'm like, yeah, if I can you know, I answer any questions for you. Or oh, yeah. I don't have any drums, sorry. No, no, that's, I don't play anymore. That was like, I stopped back in the 90s. You know, like, you know I'm in one of them. I had, like I had this job that I had to work 16 hours at. Yeah. Like that. So I'm like, maybe this thing is just How about you, you um, playing in some bands yourself? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have, we have a bootlegger blues band. That's right. That plays. We play. Are you in the area? Yes, South Bay, Harbor City, as a matter of fact. Yeah. The Redondo guitar. Beach VFW on uh -huh. Catalina. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost Life across from the post office. Yeah. Right? Uh, we, every Wednesday night, 6 so to 9, we do a jam oh, there. You should go to one of those. Uh, yeah. It's uh, to, you know, to help veterans. Oh, people want to oh how cool. So yeah. we make some tips. We give it to the post. And people come in and have some drinks, and they make some money. And then, yeah. So we're trying to help veterans. Yeah, and it just... After a while, I think that's a place Jay brought up that we went on to see some gigs a while back. 
And I remember as Danny as from Anti was what there. I remember like I was talking about, about that? I think so. Yeah, yeah I, think I think that so, was yeah. the same place. So, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's been a while for me. I know. <laughs> we were just please, saying, you know, back when, when, when I was playing, it was 40 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Where did 40 years go? It, it I know. Tell me about it. So, um, Tuesday night, this Tuesday night, we're at Project Barley in Lamita. That's a blues team. Oh, cool. It's such so a massive seven to ten. Yeah. That's right. Well, that's right over by your pad. It's a good problem oh, is it? to have. Yeah. Where I have, yeah. I have to yeah it's on the on PCH. Right. Okay. Kind of by. Yeah. It's just by Narbonne. But okay. It's Project Barley so like Blue. Today I'm going to play huh. Bar on the internet. That's weird. I'm not familiar with it. Yeah. I was wondering yeah, about. Yeah, um, was it yeah, O'Hearns? Yeah. You know what O'Hearns is? It's that Irish pub just after you on PCH. You pass Western. It's on the right hand side. Yeah. Sure. I've, I've talked to a couple yeah. people that have been, you know, booking clubs or whatever. I go, that's, exactly that's like a, another place that bands can play because they have a, you know, bands play there. They have a license and, and all that uh, stuff. So can't complain. Yeah. You know, yeah. More and the I, merrier. I would love yeah. to someday get to the point where I can yeah. pay somebody else to edit everything we for We play me, like that is super tedious. It's a long time. So it takes tedious. a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. Different breweries to play. We're a bunch of old guys that play the blues. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Should all be so lucky to be able to follow our passion. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So what? I uh, didn't catch your. Hi, I'm John. John. Yeah. Hi. Cool. Cool. Glad to meet you, man. And what was your name? I'm Dirty Dom. Dirty Dom. Yeah, that's oh, Dirty Dom. Oh, that's a Dirty Dog. That's a Dirty Dog. She won't play. Dom. <laughs> Dom's. Uh, what, what brings you guys down here? Um. He. He. He invited me to come down because cool. you guys were hanging out. And stuff. Yeah. Well, I saw your the thing you did when you came oh, down yeah, that's right. to, yeah. to uh, on your channel. Yeah. Do you like whiskey? Oh, yeah, um, sure. so I well, I'm Irish, but I don't drink much. I, I brought, I brought, <laughs> like, thing, sure, like, absolutely. Why not? Right yeah. Street from yeah. My pad, I gotta go yeah. check yeah. it out. You know, it. so I came down and met Chuck and. Yeah, played some guitars, you know. Yeah, that reminds me. He sent your video to everybody. Oh, oh good. Yeah, yeah, I sent yeah, it out yeah, to yeah, all yeah, kinds yeah, of people, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's the biggest agent. Yeah. <laughs> he said he needs an editor, but I don't do that. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't mess it all up. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, this is a great place. Yeah, yeah it really I, is. I, I love yeah. that so many people are closing brick and mortar stores. Right, and, and then, like, just and then a, a private open I love that up. he's opening this up. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just like a lunatic. <laughs> well, I was actually against the trend. Crazy enough. <laughs> I remember, I was on the left hand side of the third deck. Yeah, we came in. I played some guitars. He gave us a couple shots of some clear whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I mean, I feel, feel nice and relaxed. Yeah. Did he give you a cigar? No, no, I don't use cigars. I have enough bad habits. I don't need that. But he's way back when, I guess. Oh, wow. Thank so you. So the deal is, I'll give you a little tip for free. But 20 bucks, you get the glass. A cigar and another little taste of whiskey. So. Oh, you want okay. the glass? So, she, so the first one's free, just like a drug dealer. I learned something when I was yeah, in high school. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, what, what, you brought? What did you bring here? Oh, oh that, he uh, the moonshine. The oh. moonshine. Yeah, it comes <laughs> a little jar, <laughs> like a bootlegger used to do. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've. Uh, I Where American this racing before. started. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure what the alcohol can, but real moonshine should be like Thank about. You, Chuck. Yeah, Thank you, Chuck. Yeah, thank you, Chuck. Please. <laughs> yeah, you know, you gotta do this, and no, it's good stuff. Let's just shake it up and see if it's pure. Yeah, no. Real good stuff is the ones that have worms in them. <laughs> What's that? A mezcal? Uh, I, I tell you, a step, a step above mezcal is something called Rachuta. Is that right? If you ever go down by Puerto Vallarta, ask about Reseda. Mm -hmm. They'll uh, you'll have to hire a boat and they take you out to an <laughs> island. Wow! And there's a still. Very exclusive. And they they right there, man. They're making it's uh, like a high grade tequila. Oh, you get it right there where they make it. It's a, it's uh, cycle active without a doubt. It's I mean you just and you're like your brain's like you can see, see <laughs> through walls. <laughs> and what they do is they, they ferry out empty bottles of like, um, you know, like cheap Mexican tequila. Uh -huh. And then they fill, you buy the receipt they put it in like that bottle. Yeah. Whatever, like, give me a, whatever cheap tequila. Yeah. <laughs> then they, have, they stick a label and they close it and everything. And that's how they get it. That's it. That's, wow. in other words, it just looks like you bring a, a bottle of Jose Pueblo. Yeah. But it's Reseda <laughs> and it's. Abstinence, well, the real abstinence, 
the rural abstinence was in New Orleans in the 70s. Wasn't it in France? Uh, yeah, abstinence comes from France. Okay. New Orleans comes from France. <laughs> yes. Yeah. A lot of stuff comes from Champagne. France. Yeah. Yeah. Champagne. 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 What's that? Can you pronounce that correctly? Abstinence? Yeah. Well, I think the French probably pronounce it differently. What is that? Absence? Like having sex. Right? Yeah. yeah. Abstinence. Abstinence. No. Okay, we're getting That's the people that ask me. Like the guys on Cheers. Right, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> well, now, when I'm, since I'm thinking, I, I, yeah, I can't say it now that I'm thinking about it, but that guitar is called the, the Absence. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah this that is, is the, the only ones I haven't played. Beautiful. And that's an abstinence there. Oh, that's, that's got the Sophia bridge on it. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. I didn't know you were familiar with Sophia. Well, we talked about it before. Okay, yeah. Well, you were installing that last time I was down here. Yeah, yeah. and I fucked it up, so I had oh, to get yeah. Sophia to come back down and fix it. Okay. But that is, if you want to try it, that's okay. the Sophia bridge. Okay. That that um, bridge, I mean, the, the tremolo, that is um, a $500 tremolo. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Right. It's a thousand dollar guitar, so this is now fifteen hundred. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it has this oh, wow. adjustment here. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, and the way they describe it to me is, if you're using the tremolo heavy, and it goes a little flat, you can just give this a little touch, and it lines it back up. Uh -huh. Sounds like science fiction to me, but that's what they. So it's like a wheel. It makes sense. It yeah. tightens yeah. the springs, probably. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's all like high end metal. I mean, it really is amazing. But I'm a blues musician, right. not necessarily. You know, I'm not a. What's the tremolo arm going into? Is it plugged in right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. arm plugs in. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, you get the same. Like that's a Floyd Rose there. Right? You get yeah. the same. I love the uh, the neck through, you know, the, the yeah, construction yeah, on the yeah, yeah, absolutely. Five piece neck. Yeah, that's my, that is, uh, has become Bootlegger's number one seller. I mean, it's a very right. unique guitar, and it's, um, of course, I, I love to do comparisons, but that guitar, uh, with my tremolo on it, um, has a graphite nut, uh, jumbo medium frets, uh, uh, that's, um, this is the um, ebony fretboard, very expensive. EMG pickups, coil spin, right? So that guitar is like a thousand dollars. Jacksons, which are like two to three, come with a plastic nut mm -hmm. and a gig bag. Nice. Yeah, mine come with a hard case. So it's right. like, yeah, right. right. You know, That's it's good. like, don't, gee, don't forget the flask. And you know, it's nice and oh yeah, and a flask. Oh, a flask. Yeah. Okay, yeah. there you go. <laughs> no, I just mean I have to be. That was the flask full. I have to be a good value. Yeah. People buy Ibanez is because of the name. You still have that leather, like the tool kit? Mm -hmm. You still have that? Yeah. That was really cool. I like that blue one too. That I like the color of that. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. 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 But this, this is still that's just like yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's really lovely. Awesome. Chuck, I'm going to set this glass down. Yeah, oh, thank you. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> oh, that's what comes with the uh, a purchase, or? Uh, um, it can. Um, uh, my friend Roger Coles is the bass player for Unknown Henson when they were a band, mm -hmm. and uh, he kind of designed it. He told me what he wanted in a, a kit. So uh, I just keep this in your car. And made it. Have to do some interior work. Right. <laughs> car guitar. Yeah, it's all the same. <laughs> yeah, it's like a purse. Yeah. You know, little attaché. You got to work the. Don't worry about it. Anyway. You got to <laughs> well, work I'm, it. I'm in. getting the stuffing. Yeah, the but yeah, these are cool. Them. I mean, if you, mm -hmm. there, it's it's real leather and it's you know just. A, Kit, and you can carry the flask in there. That's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> and a <laughs> bottle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't understand that stuff. That's a whole different world. Well, Max, I should nice be playing some guitars, man. Well, you know, this is kind of like an experiment. It was your idea, right? Oh, I thought Doing of it. This. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I was thinking like 
we were thinking of I do like a Q and A, and then I'm like, well, maybe I could play guitar. But we didn't really. To be honest, we didn't plan very. Plan anything out. Yeah, <laughs> right, so, right. So. Yeah, it, it, although if anybody wants a way poster, to do it, I've got posters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I was telling Chuck when I was here last time. I'm like, well, you know, Max is is a shredder, and and I've kind of, I'm too old for that shit now. So, but uh, but you know, I mean, I can play, but um, I, 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 I I would play, I would jam with Max if he wants to. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's I was here when he got that idea. He goes, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna text Max right now, and yeah. it, I? The, I just yeah. got an idea. Yeah. And I go, that sounds like a great idea, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Well, I have ideas all the time. Man. I forget yeah. about them. Yeah, right, right. Then I, then I not. That's why if I did it, I'm going to do it right now. I don't forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got your echo working. Mm -hmm. Oh, you figured that out, huh? Yeah. Cool. It dropped in price by about 100 bucks. I guess a lot of people couldn't figure them out. Mm. Yeah, I, I stupidly, for me, bought a um, Stein. Remember the name on it? It's a, a very expensive brief, a, an electronic company. The, guy, the yeah. guy's name starts with an S, and then the, the actual fellow is a different name. Okay. It's like a, it's supposed to be a digital Steinman echo. Steinman or something like that. It's supposed to have three digital echoes in it. Mm. I mean, three analog e echoes that are actually digital. Right. But they sound pretty digital to me. Okay. I recorded a, a reggae tune with it uh, oh. this afternoon. Cool. Okay. My phone died, so I didn't send it over. This is the guy that uh, lived in Venice and hung out with rock royalty. He doesn't want to admit it, but who? Awesome. Suicidal tendencies? Huh? <laughs> hung out with suicidal? Uh, suicidal now. <laughs> suicidal from that. Venice. <laughs> do you? Do you? Suicidal tendencies were bands. I mean, they were a Venice band. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They were banned from playing. Oh yeah, we, my band got banned from LA too. Really? Yeah, yeah, the skinheads all got beat up at one of our gigs, and we got labeled a gang band. So we were banned wow. in our own city. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. I like Suicidal Tendencies video with uh, Timothy Leary in it. <laughs> yeah, Timothy Leary, Leary, I don't think was Leary ever Leary a part of their thing. but <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, Timothy Leary, he was the acid test guy, right? Oh, I know back Timothy Leary, the absolutely. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. A Harvard professor that... Uh, right. Gave them right. LSD to experiment with, and, and they went out on the bus. Decided, let's just give it to all the kids. Right, right, <laughs> right. Back well, before it was illegal, actually. To share another s real quick story, a friend of mine, Patrick Mraz, the keyboard player from Yes and the Moody Blues and such. You ever meet Patrick? Did you know him? No, no but I, I he's a prog. You know, Karen Fleeman was married to one of those guys in Yes, and I knew her. She was okay. one of my press agents for yeah. a while. He um. To he, he gave me a story, he goes, he's Swiss German, so he goes, Chuck, Chuck, have you ever taken LSD? Hey. You know? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. That's a opening question. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's how we talk. Yeah, I, I have. I, I said, yeah, I did in high school. Oh, what did you think? And I thought it was horrible, man. I was, like, I was, you know, I didn't want to leave my chair. You know? I, was just, <laughs> I was just scared out of my, my wits. And he goes, you. You didn't have the pure, the pure LSD. We <coughs> were in the labs in Germany with Timothy Leary, is what I thought of. Mm -hmm. An attic. And we had, a John was there, and we had the best, the best acid. Wow. And I wow. go, well, okay, that's good for you, yeah. you know? <laughs> and he goes, well, if I ever find the pure, pure again, will you do it with me? <laughs> yeah, and I'm, yeah, if we get a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we get like an IV, you know, and just throw it in there. <laughs> I'm so right. old that acid was That's legal good. when I came out. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I had Sandoz acid in the refrigerator. People would come over, have a beer and an acid. You know, I mean, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> was it like right? I'll throw a cigarette on the well, half of acid. It wasn't the only, it wasn't the, okay, yeah. And Life Magazine wanted to come over to my house and do a story on LSD. And I said, well, people here can take LSD, but since it's such a borderline thing, you can't us taking it. You can film us on it. And they went, no, we want to we want to have pictures of you taking it. And I said, I don't think that's a good idea. So we never did it. Yeah. Was split. yeah, he said they used to, uh, he used to live on a lake in England and across the lake was Clapton and George Harrison, like not living in the same place, but they all lived around this lake, right? That's right. I go, that's interesting. Okay. I did. Okay. And then he goes, yes, 
You know, we used to jam. I used to get in my boat and I would go across <laughs> the lake, you know, and go over to Eric's and then George would come over and we would jam and we would do LSD and we would, you know, all this stuff. And I go, okay, mm -hmm. uh, well then, how did you get home if you're like, you know, I'm thinking like. Yeah, did you get back in the boat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go, I mean, how, like, how did you get back, you know, how did you not like, you know, tip your boat over or whatever, right? And he goes, the lake is only this deep. <laughs> it's shallow. <laughs> you know. Harris was really good friends with George Harrison. Yeah, I know. Even, yeah, even sure. Even though, he, you know, they had a screw up with the girl. Yeah. But, uh, yep. but Eric, Eric used to live in Venice for a long time. Yep. If you lived in that, Angelina Jolie had like this art studio. And he bought it and he lived in there. There's tons of them. You never know where musicians are going to end up. Even well, if Venice they have money, because Venice, everybody my, my dad did sound for Cream and, and uh, Cam Heat, you know, and Pink Floyd. Cam Heat started in Venice. Well, yeah. my dad invited Cam Heat home after after a gig for dinner, That's and they, they never left. They they wrote their next <laughs> album in our they living room for the next <laughs> year. They lived yeah, there. Yeah, my mom eventually got tired of it and split. <laughs> you know, um, that she had enough. You know, when the Manson family came through after the, the other camp murders, they came to the house, and, and that's when my mom kind of went, I'm done, you know, I, I want a house with a family, you know, and because uh, our house got a little too popular, I guess, and, um, you know, long story short, just you never know where musicians are going to end up. <laughs> they, can, they can live anywhere, right. like well, in your well, living room. <laughs> Oh, wow. he, he always quit at the wrong time. <laughs> I would say. Yeah. My dad was with, uh, fired, the, the, during the Woodstock Festival, my dad was with, uh, who, who, uh, Jimi Hendrix's drummer at that time, what was his name? Buddy Miles? No, not Buddy Miles, Buddy. Uh, Buddy Miles played in the band, the Gypsies. Oh, okay, that, then it was Buddy Miles. Um, he was, my dad was with him at the airport, and, and Buddy Miles was late, they go, you gotta get here now, because Hendrix is headlining it. Mitch Mitchell was the guy. I'm sorry. Yeah, Mitch Mitchell. Mitch Mitchell was his drummer, but but at the time of Woodstock, actually Buddy Miles was playing that day. Yeah, and my dad was with Buddy Miles at the airport. I took him to the airport. He took him to the airport. No, I did. Yeah, he he took him to the airport. Different story. And found a bunch of when they searched him, he had a bunch of cocaine on him. And so what they did is. They let, like, he goes, I, you can't arrest me. I, I got to play Woodstock right now. I'm already late. <laughs> they let Buddy go and kept my dad. <laughs> and my dad wasn't even the one holding it. <laughs> right, my, my dad was like, thanks, Buddy. Have a good gig. He must have volunteered, right? Yeah, my dad just was his ride to the airport. He did that to Geffen. Geffen got busted at the airport with Crosby's stuff. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. So he took the heat. Yeah, they, they yeah. as long as they got somebody, it seems right. they don't really need the guy that had it. Right. As long as somebody's there to pay, pay yeah. for it, you know, or something. Yeah. Well, I traveled around with Dennis Wilson, and he, they were, the Beach Boys were Republicans. Okay. We, when we played the White House the first time, we played, uh, well, the Washington Mall on the 4th of July. Carter was there. Okay. And they wouldn't even go see Carter. Carter invited them in. But, <laughs> but during the Carter administration, so Carter sent over an aide, and uh, Dennis wanted to get some coke, right? So the aide's taking all these weird gay bars because that, that's gay, and that's where he knew to get coke, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he's telling us, he's saying, well, you guys should have come to the White House. I mean, we sniff it on the roof all the time. Right? <laughs> oh, my God, I so believe just it. Like, the, the Secret <laughs> Service, like, guards us, you know? It's the right. safest place to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't find any coke, so we wound up in the bowels of Baltimore with a limousine double parked for about an hour. And some guy's house said, he goes, what, they look like buffalo hunters? And we came out and the car was surrounded by all the local guys from the hood. And I was so glad Dennis didn't break out the coke and go, here, you guys want to get high? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's right. Like that. right. Yeah, yeah, 
he had a he got a letter from when George Bush Senior was campaigning for president. They did a benefit for him, and then George Bush became vice president before he became president. And he wrote a letter uh, when he was vice president to Dennis, and Dennis walked around with it crumpled up in his pocket. And was like, get out of jail free card. We were in Culver City, and they caught him with coke in his pocket. He says, well, I got a letter from the president. And the other president goes, well, it's really the vice president. And they read it, and they went, oh, shit, this is above our control. Right. You brought up politics, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't Trump, I mean, <laughs> Trump is so ignorant that he was playing. We're I'm not. We're doing the live stream. That's okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I yeah. know all the names. Buddy Miles. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was using. He was yeah. walking even on think the stage that. against. I'm not a fortunate son. Credence, yeah. Yeah. and that song is about rich people yeah. not yeah. having to. You know, he is the, f meaning, yeah. Remember first the Kingston? song is yeah, negative say, against people there's, there's who so are getting. There's so many songs like that that are just, like, Kingston, misunderstood. Yeah, right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Reagan yeah. Right. wasn't born in the USA. Yeah, born in the USA. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. The, like Henry Rollins talked about that, talking about, like, I'm proud to be poor, and I'll stay right here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, it's like, you know, why don't you get out of your rut, you know? Which is well, ironic that he would choose that I'm song. I'm not particularly proud to be right. 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 Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Born in the existence. USA pre and proud to be living in the ghetto. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, yeah, you know. Patty, Patty, who didn't get along too well with the family, I wanted to publish it. Because Dennis and I had a publishing company. Just being a kid. But um, Dennis is left with her. I couldn't talk him into it. Said, Your father's going to be president. I know. Beep. <laughs> Her father became president. She had a best selling book, which is probably could have had a pizza, you know. Yeah. And she'd written some songs. She was living in Columbia Eagles, but she wrote some songs for Gordon White, wrote for some people. You know, so. It's amazing really how so much is connected. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 It really yeah. is. It really is. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah. I think Patty has a book out now, but it's the first one that sold since. Since her first book, because it was about her family. Mm -hmm. uh, she tried all the other books, so that she tried to sell them out of the internet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, every one of these gray hairs has a story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I know. What I'm not that old, but I'm old enough. To get on. Old enough to have done it, but young enough to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your two things that you did for Bootlegger. They were really good sales pitches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely, did. man. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Really good. I have a friend with the car right. like those pictures. Just but you yeah. play you play so good too, like <laughs> on those guitars you review. That you could sell any anybody's guitar. You oh, know, okay. I mean you're you're a you're a good player, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. So oh, oh yeah, you gotta you play something for us? It's for you to know it. Yeah, 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 you really want to show your play. Before yeah. we before we I know, I'll play bass. This guy is also an avid pilot, so I wanted to thank you for coming down. I know you don't have a plane. You don't have a plane yet, so Fly. Now you can say you can, you can fly. Yeah, you can fly home now. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Thank you, Chuck. You got it, buddy. Now you, you can film. You can film. Yeah. He's also got a five-month-old daughter. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, congrats, man. Wow. So you've been yeah. doing your show for five years, and you have a five-year-old daughter. Or something? <laughs> five months. Yeah, five months. <laughs> Twelve months, like a year. When you have a little yeah. Show. I'll, uh, I'll take a clever Jimmy photograph Mitchell. of this and make it look like it's a real plane. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like where you did the uh, the rocket launcher off the guitar. Oh, yeah. That was great. That was yeah. great, yeah. <laughs> I still have that guitar. I'm like, do what you? What can I do with this thing now? You know? He built a rocket launcher on a guitar, and he goes, yeah, I just wanted go. to see if this yeah, really like could work. <laughs> I mean, the two go together. <laughs> sure, man. We'll be like the expensive winos. You can just pass it around. I thought you'd get a kick on that. Yeah. I, I did price planes on that. No, <laughs> no, no. We'll kill you. Yeah, might as well. It's like that dude on the internet that uh, right. my wife Thank likes. Um, he's like yeah. the number one guy, and he he bought a boat for a daughter and took it out. Uh, the Beast. His name is the Beast or something. Oh, Mr. Beast. Oh, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he 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 found a boat. He bought it for a daughter. 
Yeah. And he took it out for sale, and of course it sank, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a brilliant idea. You know? I mean, yeah. Do you remember that guy on TV that had super flex, and then he would he would flex together a boat with this rubber stuff? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Flex tape. Flex tape. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. all. That wasn't duct tape. Yeah, that like stuff was liquid great. rubber. Yeah. yeah. He did a screen door for the bottom of the boat. He did a screen door for the bottom, and yeah. he did it flex seal. and then he put flex together seal. Yeah. something that was broken, and he, he went out in the ocean. That stuff was, works. It really boat. works. It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a pressure leak on my water heater, you know, just, and it comes in a tape form, too. Just wrap it around. Would you like a taste of whiskey? Ben Joe. Yeah, thank you. He, he develops all kinds of like a taste of whiskey? Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> See, I twisted my arm. I know what's up with Drinking is okay, but don't binge drink, because you'll lose brain cells. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't remember a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll try to remember that. <laughs> College is binge drinking time. <laughs> My son went to San Diego the first year, and they'd go down to Tijuana, you know, and they'd put on the, oh, the helmets you, for the tequila in both sides. Right, right, right. Kids don't remember yeah. coming home. I should assemble <laughs> the car with right. flex tape. I could do that. Oh, there's no, seen, yeah. seen the guys who do it with, like, colored pencils and Legos and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do the flex tape with <laughs> uh, yeah. Have you seen that stuff? Like, they take like a bunch of colored pencils and they cut them all, like stick them together, cut them all, and they pour resin over them and they make the guitar body. Oh yeah, out yeah, stuff like right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's yeah, like people that. doing all kinds of crazy stuff out there. I mean, yeah. anything you can think of. Remember that which you brought me was a melted. It was in a fire. It was a melted Harley. Oh, and a the melted only thing Harley that was Davidson, left was yeah. kind of the shape of a guitar. I right. said, you got to poke that with resin, put the strings on it, right. and you'd have a Harley guitar. And I ended up that. selling that that piece of metal. Is that right? Yeah. It was all that was it, left. It was a melted Harley from a fire. Wow. Yeah. The big fires that happened at, uh, like about 10 years ago in right. San Diego. Okay. Um, I worked for Marriott back then, and uh, so we, we were going in and bringing relief for the people that lost their homes, you know, like housewares and and setting them up with, you know, like temporary shelters and stuff. And uh, we went to this one house and uh, this one guy, he goes, yeah, you know, our house got saved, but it got my work shed. And he used his, he worked out of home, from his home, repairing air conditioners and stuff that people would bring in. And he had all of his Harleys in there and it got burnt mm. to the ground. And he goes, look at that, that, that pile of metal right there that you see, you see that and it, you could tell it was liquid at one time, right? He goes, that was my, that was my sh 1969 shovel head right there. I go, wow, really? He goes, yeah. He picks it up with his shovel. He goes, you want it? You, you want a Harley <laughs> Davidson? I just, I just took it and I go, sure, okay, thanks. You know, there I am holding a whole Harley Davidson. It What's was pretty heavy it? too. I mean, but, uh, you know, I thought, you know, that'd be interesting to do something with this metal, you know, but yeah, yeah. I just never got around to being able to. I ended up selling it to somebody. I don't even remember who I sold it to. Or it was a while ago. Yeah. yeah. What a trippy it's amazing story. Amazing. The amount of heat that it would take to turn a bike like that into liquid. Little, it was. Yeah, he goes, it was, was straight left. liquid. It's like yes. a yeah. Wow. And all, all the dryers and, and air conditioners that were in there that he used to fix, they were all it's amazing melted. The crap that people make guitars out of, and they right. sound good. All those uh, cigar yeah. box strings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what I made. Yeah, he's I, made I, some I, great I, made, I, I sold 34 cigar box guitars already. Yeah. Like, well, this was before COVID. When COVID happened, it just killed my business. So yeah. I had something going there for a minute. <laughs> do, you, do you know Doby Docs? You know that channel? Yeah. Yeah. Have you, he's got a guitar. It's for slide, you know, but it's a Mercedes hubcap. Yeah. I yeah, see. and it's yeah. it's got a neck on it somehow. And it's, right, yeah, it's that's amazing. the guy in, in uh -huh. England, the, the sailor or something. He's a slide sailor guy. Jerry. Sailor Jerry. Oh. He plays all those. Yeah. I think he yeah. plays actually a shovel. Right. <laughs> a shovel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Justin, that guy Justin on YouTube, he plays a lot of those. Well, you guys uh, are kind way of more modern things. than I am. Is that right? <laughs> 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 well, guitar Jerry, he's, he's your age. He's, a, yeah. he's just a guy in England that's I gigs. Talk about Eric Clapton, people. I know them, but I yeah, <laughs> he's he's on yeah. tour. How many times wow. has he retired? He just announced his tour. Uh, right, Ozzy just re re announced retirement yeah. again too. Yeah, right, yeah. it's so hard to tell if it's for real or not. Right, right. Peter Frampton's on tour. I gotta Frampton's say, for the first right. time, Ozzy oh, yeah. doesn't sound to me like Ozzy on the new on the new record. Like like we saw him last time he came with Sabbath down at Irvine Meadows, and man, he still sounded just like the record. Like it was like amazing. 
like Robert Plant can't do that, but yeah. Ozzy can. Well, at least then. But to do stuff, I, I it just doesn't. Well, look at how it sounds Plant a little different to me than yeah. Ozzy. You know. Did you hear the uh, Ozzy Clapton mm -hmm. collaboration? I, I don't think I have, no. Oh, it's really? Really? Yeah, they released a song, Ozzy Osbourne and Eric Clapton. Oh, nice. Well, well, I think it's on time. <laughs> it's on his last album, I believe. Oh. His last album. I think he collaborated with a few people on that album. Um, yeah. I think there's a few people on there. Um, God, who else did he work with? I think Jeff Beck was on there. Jeff Beck, before yeah. he passed. Before he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Jimmy's on there, too. Um, I can't think of everybody, but yeah. Jimmy Page, yeah. Hey, there's a bootlegger guitar right there. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Well, that's, yeah. that's Tommy Stewell. He used to play with uh, Johnny Winter. Nice. But then again, he doesn't really stand what he does too much either. Right. What he does, he does really well. And, mm -hmm. he's, mm -hmm. and he's working all the you know, he's playing with somebody all the time. Mm -hmm. Who's this? Like that's that's Chicago Blues thing. guy. Huh? He never, yeah. never practices. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, John was in a band with this guy. He, he only played Chicago blues. No, actually, I met him at a club. I thought he'd be good, you know, tracking songs, you know, bring a new element in. And I kept saying, well, you know, I thought maybe like, he goes, as long as it's Chicago blues. Well, I had these ideas. He goes, it's okay, as long as it's Chicago blues. <laughs> I go, okay, I got you. <laughs> as long that, as that's it's funny. Yeah, yeah. To me, but he was really good. No, no Memphis blues. No, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 no Mississippi <laughs> Delta. Don't go Nothing. there. Same Chicago guys, blues. Same that's guy it. Played in Memphis, <laughs> Is that right? I, I don't even know what what does anybody know what is Chicago blues? Is it? I, know. What, kind of I know what Mississippi Chicago Delta blues, blues is actually, but Chicago I don't know. Chicago blues kind of started on Maxwell Street. You know where Maxwell Street was? Mm -mm. Maxwell Street was an open air market that began before the blues guys got there, and foreign merchants used to have uh, little carts, and then they had brick and mortar. And eventually, they closed the street became a shopping street until late at night and then they'd open up the streets again. The guys with the stores were getting crowded out by the kiosks. Mm -hmm. So what they did was they would give blues guys something to plug in with. Mm -hmm. And they'd say, well, you can play in front of here. And, and John Lee Hooker, all these great players, right? And then they'd hire a great big strong arm man. And when the crowd was gathering around to watch the blues band, strong arm guys would go, we got some really good deals on appliances and they just grab the guy by the arm and pull him into the store. <laughs> it's a wild place. Mm. Yeah. I wrote some stories about Maxwell Street. I mean, that, that was the oh. place. Wow. Yeah. He's this fascinating on Facebook. He writes stories about his experiences in the music industry and such. And it's, I enjoyed the uh, Jim Morrison, especially. So I got Jim some Morrison Jim Morrison stories, stories for you sometime. <laughs> What's that? So when I say Jim Morrison. Yeah, story. when he was, yeah, drunk. Yeah. I have a Robbie I Krieger story. I told you that. Can read it if they want. Robbie <laughs> Krieger at, at the Doors 21st Century Tour. He just, Van Zarek and uh, he was alright. Uh, we were sitting there talking and Robbie goes, you want to smoke a joint? And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm not, at that time I wasn't a big joint smoker, but it was like, sure. It's Robbie Krieger. Yeah. So we go up behind the stage and he lights up a giant. And the two of us are hanging out. And all he wanted to talk about was his golf day at Bel Air. Because <laughs> <laughs> his golf was the show. Yeah. And he's an avid, avid golfer. I was like, like, you golf? And I'm like, sure. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the golfers are like. <laughs> yeah. Alice Same with Alice Cooper, yeah. 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 I was the music director on John James Moore's first two tapes. Oh, yeah. And, uh, on a show called Father Knows Best as a kid named mm. a teenager named Bud. It's like one of the early TV mm -hmm. shows. Yeah. Then he became a famous motorcycle racer. Huh. So Stoney Bremer managed a uh, seminar show. Uh, you know, they, they gave him some money to produce this thing. And it came out great, and there were some other good musicians there. This guy Gabriel wound up producing Cheap Thrills for Big Brother. And Then I realized they can't put that out because the 
whole song was about shooting drugs. <laughs> it's called Shoot Up. Uh, oh, wow. I just did the music. I never really heard the guys sing it. <laughs> and I said, well, why didn't they release it? And he said, well, it's called Shoot Up. <laughs> and uh, I have mutual friends with Billy Gray, and I tried to get a copy of that, but I never got a response from him. So. You were talking about Frampton earlier. Um, it was about 10 years ago. He was on tour. I think he was going through Texas. And, you know, they had a break-in in the, I don't know, trailer Somebody stole or his guitar, stole right? His Les right. Paul or something. Stole that guitar? I'm not sure which guitar I think it was, it was a Les Paul. But he had some kind of tracking device, mm-hmm. like oh. in the case. Oh, wow. I read about that. Yeah, and the, the local, you know, the police in Texas there were able to track it. Mm-hmm. And they found it at a warehouse. Mm-hmm. And when they found it, they found all, all this other band shit, stuff, yeah. you know, and they were able to like bust this huge wow. theft ring down there, you know, yeah. and ste- stealing all the touring yeah. bands' equipment. Well, yeah. see, rock and roll is good for society. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Like, you know, man. Like, of course, it's Peter Jackson. Jack yeah. Every guitar. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you know what? I have security. In fact, yeah. I believe yeah. that that Les Paul got stolen yeah. before yeah. that, and it Makes took him years to get it back. And then after that, he put a tracker in it. And then was able to get it back the second time it was stolen. It's amazing. It was a triple pickup Black Beauty. You, but I don't think that's the way you should lead conversations. That stuff I don't need to hear. I like this stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're going to talk about who had sex with who and you're going to talk about rock. People could learn a few things about discretion from like Elton John and stuff, I think, probably. Yeah. You know, like uh, like the rappers of now. <laughs> sure, yeah. There's a big, you know, that big scandal going on right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah is mean, it true they had, he had tunnels? I, I, don't, I really would, don't want to talk know. about too much about that, but I, mean, <laughs> I will say, how many dudes did Diddy Diddle if Diddy Diddle dudes? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I said, I said it. <laughs> you said it correctly. We need a rim shot. Sorry, you didn't know yeah, I said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what they say, from the Five biggies to that. the smalls. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I, that's terrible, man. Since we got this unique guy here, are there any questions for him? You, you know, I know we're talking about everything except Max. Uh, that's so good. Yeah. But yeah. It's fun. Where do you begin? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wanted to ask, I asked him this, I mean, I don't know how many of the videos you've seen, but is there something that you want to see more of, guitar-wise? Oh. You, know, uh, um, you know, I enjoy, I enjoy, see, at first I just would see you, you know, as you would pop up, and, right. I, and I'd, I'd watch it and go, you know, yeah, you know, I, I did. I really got into you when when I saw the thing when you came down here okay, yeah. in this new store in Redondo, and I'm thinking, yeah. wow, that's right in the neighborhood, and it's yeah. great that a guitar store opened up, you yeah. know, right in the neighborhood. Like, I got to go support that, you yeah. know, completely. And uh, but then after that, that's when I really started watching your videos, okay. you know. And it's like, I like everything you do, man. Okay. It, it's fun to see. Like like I said, you could sell anybody's guitar. You could pick up, you know, you could pick up a, a Graco. You know, and, and play it. And people go, I want a dad. <laughs> you know, I want one of those. You know, but, uh, you know, but it's like. Pitch. That's a good pitch, man. I've only seen the ones you did for the bootleggers. I've been trying to do some stuff with bootleggers. Right. Like I but he could, he could play any guitar, though. You know, it's like. No, he's doing some very trippy stuff for bootleggers. So follow the bootlegger YouTube channel, mm-hmm. and you'll see more and more. From, of course, Max, and also oh, Dirty <laughs> Dom here on. He, he, he takes one of my guitars home for a day or two, comes back with his video, and, and he just... Nice. He's an extremely nice. tasteful player. Excellent. Nice. And, uh, well, let me know where I'm getting line well, for that. Because I can do that. Nice, man. But we had um, Stefan here sitting there, who's the bass player for um, KC. KC and the Sunshine Band. I think the Ron Wood credit is better. Yeah, he played <laughs> in the Ron Wood band. All right. He, he's a bootlegger artist, which I'm very proud of. There you go. And um, they were talking back and forth, and we played some of the songs he did for the bootlegger. He was freaked out. <laughs> he was quite, he was doing the, you know, the, 
just like that. Badass rock oh, face. I thought, was, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just going to be like, hey, you say that? Did you say that? No, he, he, I know him pretty well. He was on Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I probably was. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, he's uh, a very talented young man. That's great, man. <laughs> What what did what did you say you would like to see more of? I, I mean, I, I can't think of anything. I think you do a, a superb job on all the reviews. Well, it's funny you mentioned, you know, the video when I came to the shop here. Mm -hmm. I've only done maybe like three of, you know, videos like that. Right. And I would those are fun to do. You know. Yeah, you that was great. We always have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, and I did a video checking out his car too. Yeah, I saw I saw that. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I, I, suggested, I had that. suggested to Chuck. Yeah. Rundown on a guitar. Yeah. That you do it here, even though even though you're plugging another guitar. Mm -hmm. What Chuck's doing is so different that uh, he doesn't have to worry about that. Yeah, yeah he and, doesn't worry about and, competition. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, it, this is the kind of place that should be sort of casual place to do things like that. You yeah. know. Oh yeah, it's all. Like, yeah. Look at how comfortable it is in here. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chess set isn't up today, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. It's a place. You know, I don't come over too often. I, I, I'm putting together demos for guitars. Mm -hmm. But when I do, somebody always walks in that's interesting or playing with somebody I know. Mm -hmm. Hello, bootlegger guitar. And, and talking because it's a comfortable place. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and Chuck said, well, he's got to plug other guitars. I said, well, plug him. Tear him down. Yeah, it's yeah, it's true. Uh, he said bootleggers. It's good. It's good. Guitar you want. That's a good suggestion, actually. Azure sketch will permit you to do that. It's a good well, idea. I mean, it's up to but but this is this no, of course it's I, I would love it. But I mean when I first met you you said, Well he's gotta plug other guitars and I said, You can plug other guitars here. There's really no competition for bootleggers to kind of it's like a special yeah, that's thing. cool. But yeah, for all you guys in here, this this was built as a lounge. It's it's a Chuck's lounge. Yeah, it's even different because of this today. I move stuff around. Use usually a table with checkers the chess on it and the guitars are a little different but mm -hmm. the whole idea here was to be chess, not a typical <laughs> guitar store right you you know, people chess. can come in yeah. people can come in and relax I or you know and you've and done get, that i think you've done that very up. well thank you i get people all the time coming in musicians and you know they're i mean i obviously don't want people off the street that don't play guitars right right there. just yeah. hanging yeah. around but yeah. other than that <laughs> some of the people that i see pass your front door <laughs> yeah yeah so <laughs> Now and then I get a look or go by, but you know, maybe grabs you can, my attention. You can put a little oh. test on the front door, <laughs> like, like pictures. Of if like you can which, X these, <laughs> which is the A chord or something. Yeah, yeah. Like that. right, right. That's, the right one. Like, that's well, good. Well, just a cafe society. Everybody would go down the ocean front walk, and we'd sit and we'd talk for hours oh, from breakfast to, to <laughs> lunch, past lunchtime when we finished. Yeah. Clap to everybody. I mean, non musicians too, and. That doesn't exist anymore because it costs fifteen dollars for a hamburger. Right. But this place is kind of like that. People come in, they like to talk, and I get the same feel when people are in here. Yeah. Even today, this is like everything except there's no food being served. Yeah. yeah. I'm alcohol. cheap. <laughs> whiskey or food? Whiskey or food? I elected whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Good like choice. Yeah. I don't. Know. I grew yeah. up in Milwaukee. I quit drinking when I became old enough to drink. <laughs> it was the religion in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. If you were driving and you drank like 12 beers, and Pop pulled you over, he said, Do you have anything to drink? And you go, well, I think it's six pack, maybe a little bit more. He says, Okay, just, you know, don't speed. <laughs> <laughs> they, wouldn't even, they wouldn't even try and check your alcohol level. Well, I started drinking young, and when I turned 21, finally, I went to some bar way up in Pomona, and I got there and I forgot my. <laughs> <laughs> Can't come in. Uh, so he was, you were the drummer for the Stray Cats. Alley Cats. Alley Cats. Alley Cats. No. Oh, what although, was the song, the Alley Cats? Although we did a lot of tours okay. where they got the names mixed up. Fabric? 
What's that? Since that, you're gonna get LA Kid? No, no, that would be some No, there's a uh, vocal band that does. Uh, but anyway, we'd go on tour and it'd be a sign saying, Welcome Stray Cat. Yeah. And the same That's thing like with them. So yeah. girls would show up in their poodle the skirts and their <laughs> saddle shoes. And we go, what do you think? What do you do? Completely confused. And I can't imagine what happened to the Stray Cats. You know the boys in the Blues Brothers movie. The Blues Brothers movie? Oh, yeah. The first Blues Brothers movie? They yeah, imitated yeah. a country band that oh, mainly yeah. do two oh, songs yeah. and you're rawhide. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just kept yeah. up playing it all night. Yeah, yeah. So there was a little confusing, but I came across the flyer where we played with the Stray Cats, and I just don't remember it. Wow, it was one of those blurs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever bump into the um, Unknown Hanson band? Unknown Hanson band. I yeah, so. Hanson. Nope, doesn't ring a bell, huh? It doesn't. You know, I've been going through old flyers. Like it's been. I was just telling him it's been forty years, so that's a long time ago, especially back then when I was doing Jameson back then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, no, I don't remember. I remember the Hanson boys or whatever those. That's not them now. No, no. It, it just it was a band that would have been like a three man touring mm -hmm. outlaw country kind of. Oh, is that right? Band. Yeah, yeah. 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 They were pretty amazing and huh. kind of like cow punk type thing, kind of. Yeah, no, he, no. He was from. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's from um, like Kentucky. He, did you ever see Squidbillies? The main well, character. I love the show. The, the, the main show. character is unknown Hanson. Oh, is that right? The, vo the, the guy that speaks for the dad. The yeah, little, yeah. That's, he, and that's his real voice. I was just watching that the other day. That's his real that voice. Show. That's how he sings. Is that right? And that's wow. unknown him. Huh. What do you know about that? Yeah. I had no idea. I always wondered about the background of that because that show is so solid and those parts being crazy. Black you know, hair, big that? chops, oh, the guns. That was, wow. it's a, yeah, it's a cartoon. Mm -hmm. And it's just you never seen Squid wow. Billy. It's, it's just a, I'll check it out. It's yeah. a well-made cartoon, but. My friend Roger Coles was the bass player for Unknown Henson. They toured uh -huh. for 30 years in a van huh. across the country. Wow. Right? He got the gig, Unknown got the gig to be Squidbilly, right? Uh -huh. And then not too long after that, um, after maybe two, two seasons, um, Black Lives Matter came out and Dolly Parton was involved or donating and stuff okay. for Black Lives Matter. Uh -huh. Well, being the Southerner that he is, he came out and, and bad mouthed Dolly Parton. Uh oh. Mm. That's a bad idea. <laughs> lost the TV show, oh, lost oh, all the yeah. tour oh, dates, oh, lost yeah. everything. Oh, well, you right. know, I was up there with Oprah and everything. Stuff. You don't want to. No, you don't. You don't. Yeah. You don't. Well, I got a kick out of the opening song where they start having different bands do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wild stuff. And yeah. then uh, don't touch the trim. <laughs> right? You know, it's the really funny. Uh, I managed a guy who had a co starring role with Dolly. going to be her guardian angel, black guardian angel. So I guess she was into that kind of stuff. You know? <laughs> the trouble was is that I sent him to acting school. He was a good singer and dancer, but I sent him to acting school. And he came back and said, Manny, this is too dramatic, man. I want me to pull all the stuff from inside myself. So when they wrote the part for him, and he read for it, and they had a girl like reading Dolly Parton's part, he auditioned like he was auditioning like for a music video. He got right in the faces of the producers and stuff. Oh, yeah. They're going, you're not standing on your mark, you're not talking mm -hmm. to Dolly Parton. Yeah. And they were heartbroken. And the thing never came out because of that. They said, wow. man, we wrote the part for him. We didn't know that he was going to fuck it up so much. <laughs> so, wow. I was pissed off. That's, That's a different world. world. What a missed They're going to shoot 13 of them, definitely. And when they didn't have a black guardian angel, they sort of thought it was Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I never even got stuff. to meet Dolly. Wow. Dolly woman. Well, if you want to be in the entertainment industry, you compliment Dolly every chance you get. And yeah. Uh, yeah. She has a bit of power. Yeah. She, uh, she complimented Beyonce on Jolene. That, uh, oh, I haven't heard Jolene by definitely Beyonce. Definitely the original Jolene is better. But I think the original Jolene's brilliant. I haven't heard the, the, the new version of it, but I, I, I'm looking forward to hearing it just so I can... Beyonce really got it from uh, Etta James, who's singing at last okay. for, for Obama. She said, she's singing my song, she can't even sing. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I heard I heard Beyonce's version is pretty good. Is it? And it sounds it sounds like a, like a country yeah. song to me. Yeah, cool. <laughs> you know? Oh, Etta James was amazing. She played, she came through the lighthouse all the time in the South Bay. Oh, yeah. And she was absolutely yeah, she'd, she'd go up and down. I mean, mm -hmm. in the end, she was making money again, but for a while, she was playing the guys. Mm -hmm. Worse than the lighthouse. Real guys. Like, guys that would give you $120. You know, out of the band. So, who, who in here is playing current? Do you, do you play live? Restaurants and stuff, or I mean, you're a classical yeah, player. Yeah, play so. mostly classical guitar. Yeah. Yeah. So do you play in restaurants, lounges, or? Uh, I used to. Now I'm more teaching. Kay. I played a concert uh, last week Kay. in a series in Pasadena. Okay. But uh, yeah, I got a schedule on my stuff, and I'm a little bit behind. Because I used to play with my ex-wife. Okay. And now she's gone. Yeah. And then I kind of got, got the lost. Part, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm trying to see who is gonna sub for. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I subbed her for a few other things, but Who's not for the music. Who's like your guitar? Do you want to play some classical? He can shred no, over the classical. Play. He should play, not me. You <laughs> <laughs> can't play the classical. Let's have a playoff. He can well. shred over the classical, because classical yeah, yeah. music is good to shred over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, you, you have been doing some stuff with, was it a flute player? Like, what was that? Uh, yeah, well, I do. I was playing with the sax player, but then he's too crazy, and then it's, it's <laughs> we can't work. He's okay. just annoying. Okay. Yeah, they <laughs> want to start doing those yeah, eleven-minute yeah, yeah. guitar solos on saxophone. Yeah, yeah. It's very annoying, <laughs> man. It's like, no, this is not gonna work, man. So the, do they, the, the venues you pl play, do they pay? Yes, absolutely. Well? Yeah, I never play for free, basically. I mean, I, I avoid. I don't play for free. No, I'm, I'm not yeah. suggesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I. I, I do charity work for free. Yeah, that's we nice, do yeah. VFW stuff, but I have a five man blues band, and we're not doing it for money. You know, we're all yeah, old of men. course you can. Yeah, yeah, you play at a you play like at Project Bar. These are really nice. I mean, um, common space. Brewery. We play Project Bar Brewery, but common space is like in I guess in Longhead. It's a really big brewery, right? Really cool place. Mm -hmm. Nice. And so you're the band. You know, we're getting like like two fifty, I think, right? And then then tips. And then you're looking at the lovely girls, you know, pouring beer, and the line, and I'm watching them. Yeah. You know, guys come up with the beer, and here's a dollar. Beer, like here's a, yeah. and I'm watching the girl, like my God. She's making much she's more. She's making than more, and she's. Oh, yeah. We're making <laughs> nothing. Yeah. 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 And yeah. she's making twenty bucks an hour plus a hundred an hour in tips, yeah. Yeah. while we're five men yeah. who have spent our whole life learning yeah. to play an instrument. Yeah. Yeah. Just walk up and hand her the guitar yeah. and behind the bar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so <laughs> frustrating. But you wouldn't get the tips, though. Right. Yeah. And if you have a wife, you're going to provide. Yeah. If she will marry a guy, we'll provide for her. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. say, I mean, yeah. not being mean or anything. Right. No, 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 no. It's no. true, you know? Yeah, no. You know? So being like, I realize there's a level above what we do, but it's very frustrating. You know? It is, yeah. yeah. You, you know, I, I, I split. Two or two hundred and two fifty amongst five guys. We just laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. You're having fun. Yeah, and they're like, fine. Well, I yeah. thought I saw fifty in tips. You know, at least they're nice to you at the VFW. Most club owners really like they pick on the bands. Yeah, they can be like that. They'll pull yeah. stuff like uh Did you steal my microphone? Right, yeah. <laughs> I had that twice. Yeah. Oh, Sorry really? did it to me once. Yeah. Really? But well, now, nowadays nobody gets paid well, yeah. right? That's Which is just, <laughs> just, yeah. It's just, unless you're very famous for well, decades, you know? And yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. You, you got to play the troubadour and stuff well, at yeah. that level to make money. Yeah. You know, everything below that is kind of like, well, then I, I, I've never yeah. played for it. Like, remember when, back when they were doing the pay to play? Oh, sure. I never did that. Yeah. I, I was oh, like, they still they, do that. Yeah, people yeah, it's like pay to play. I just roll out. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Thank well, there's a the club in Long Beach, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle. It's a... Yeah. There's a chicken and waffle in a little club. Yeah, I've been there. I live in Long Beach. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Actually, I played there with Ray Daly. He, he's a L.A. blues dude. Uh -huh. And uh, his band, which was really cool. Um, they're, I, they invited me back in my band. So I asked, well, what, what is it? What's the deal, right? He goes, it's $200 for the sound man. He provides the gear and the work. Well, that's fair, you know. We don't charge you anything. We get the bar. And um, you can charge 20 bucks at the door or whatever you want to charge, right? So I was thinking, you know, like, I have a conscience. You know? I'm like, I can't 
probably draw enough people to support the bar. Right, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, so I don't want to go, I mean. Hey, 20 bucks a pop, too, that's pretty, that's pretty steep. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm saying yeah. that they're saying we could. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, how you make your money yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. option. It could be free. Yeah, yeah. Right? Whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You give yeah. us two hundred bucks. You can kind of do whatever you want. But they're like really nice people. So it's like, you know, I, I'd be guilty right. being in there playing in front of ten people that aren't drinking. Yeah. 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 Because they're just yeah. waste. You know, they're just losing money. So, yeah. like when I played at Harvell in Santa Monica, the first band was Bernie Pearl and Ray Bailey. We we're the warm up band, so it was packed. They're all there for Ray Bailey and Bernie Pearl, who are known in the blues world, right? So that was great. Yeah. We walked out, you know, in like packed house. Mm-hmm. We're the only white guys in there. Yeah. We're looking like, are we going to get, you know, this is going to work or not? <laughs> and everybody was dancing and was having a blast. I, I That's awesome. Like that. My son, the bass player, who doesn't take bass seriously, and he, he is in a punk band now. He's like used to it. He's in Austin, Texas. Mm-hmm. So he called me up one day, and I'm like loading up the gear to go to the DFW. He goes, I'm kind of busy, Drew. Can I call you back? What are you doing? I'm loading up all the gear. To, you know, I go, is, and he goes, when well, my band, we have a whole crew. You know, we have, you know, the set up. I, I arrive, it's set up. I don't do anything. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't even like. I didn't want to say it, but you hardly even take bass seriously. Right. You know, dum, 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 you know <laughs> that's what he does, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, grew, I grew up when I was 15 playing frat houses in Madison, Wisconsin, mm-hmm. and uh, you carry the amplifier in and it was freezing out, mm-hmm. and your hand was just like oh, yeah. misshaped and you know right. carrying yeah, yeah. a heavy <laughs> amplifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All I could play was Green Onions the first time. Yeah, how did you play Yeah, Wow, that's crazy. The drummers have the hard job. Yeah, sure. We yeah. played out like a park city and it was a blizzard. It was so bad on the freeway, you couldn't even see the side of the freeway. And I had to stick my hand out of the window to keep the window clear. And we had to carry equipment up an ice slope. And we were serving Everclear in trash cans. It was just wild. <laughs> So once again, I don't remember what happened well, after that. <laughs> Somehow we blocked it, it out. I had one we had my, when I was in high school, but all the guys were in college. I actually taught that band how to play when they went to college and hired me when I was in high school. Um, we had a gig in Elgin, Illinois, in Wisconsin, and it was an ice storm. And we're looking, and as we're driving to Elgin, we're seeing like lights blow up and stuff. It's like super sub-zero weather. We get to Elgin and all the electricity is up in the place. Uh, you have to rewrite our lives. Yeah. <laughs> Cars are crashing, everything's a sheet of ice. And uh, I said, well, we have to get paid. And they said, but the place isn't open. I said, we have instruments here. We'll do an acoustic set. Right. We're going to have guys with candles in here. And we played an acoustic <laughs> set. The guy didn't want to pay us, and we were a union band. The union oh, made right. some deal, you know, we yeah. got paid. But, you know, in those days, I thought it was like being a post band. You had to show up. Oh, yeah. If you were sick, you still had to play. Yeah, that's integrity. Show yeah, up, but I don't have that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and just play a little something for me. I'm fascinated in the, f- you know, uh, fingers, I don't play with a guitar pick, I play with my fingers. Oh, you uh-huh. do? Oh, okay. I'm fascinated in people that play, oh, you know, okay. with a big classical stick. Can you, could you do a little something for me? Okay, well, we are live, right? I didn't expect that. <laughs> well, <laughs> Should he plug that thing in? Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, if he wants to. I don't, know how loud it is. I don't want no, you to feel pressure. Okay. He's, he's being pressured. I don't want you to feel pressure. Oh, he definitely is. This one here, right? Yeah. I want to learn something. I want to watch your technique. 
Yeah, that's all I'm doing. You don't have to impress nobody, bro. <laughs> Just have to sit here. You yeah, can go sit here, sit here, bro. Really great crossover players that, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the so that, I don't know if... Yeah, oh, you're going to plug it in? Oh, uh, it, it really needs to be. Yeah, right. It doesn't have much volume. Let me, uh... Well, you're just playing. We'll just have you play. You're making we'll me play, play now. Play yeah. <laughs> Next thing. Let's use this. Okay, okay. For all the guys with the rock, I know all that stuff. You know, but I mean, I, I'm really interested in the guys that really take the time to learn the classics and just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll see somebody on the internet and I go, how do they do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The thing that blows my mind, like with the stuff you play, is just mm -hmm. the memorization. Because it's not like, oh, you got your verse and your chorus and your bridge and that's it. Yeah. You know, it's like you yeah. go through a five, six minute piece and every, oh, every no, it's different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to pick or do you yeah, think? I'm an improvisationalist. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Same here. I, I improvise guitar. most, most of, well, but I mean, I still play with structure, I guess. I guess my claim to yes. same. I guess my claim to fame currently is playing on K-pop records. <laughs> awesome, Tony. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Those, those Koreans have so much money now. For <laughs> sessions, you wouldn't believe it. Nice. I could tell you stories, but I'd sound like a, I'd sound like I was bragging, but I'm not because they just throw their money in there. Yeah. Uh, not me. Oh, this is yours. I'm sorry. Oh, is it? It's right behind you. Last time those guys were in town, they gave me a Lamborghini. Yeah, because of noise, we should. Yes, that's a good idea. Is that seat lower? Yeah. Maybe. Chuck, does that seat lower? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. It has a <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you call Michael over from the restaurant next door? He might hire him. <laughs> Get a, oh, that's wow! Cool. Nice. However you want it. Yeah. Well, I, I was studying this one. At least we're going to listen to you, the guys in the restaurant. Like, <laughs>
I did a lot of it, but now I. Yeah, that really fascinates me when I see people playing that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's a Sadovia tough one. was really good at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, let me lay one on you. Bach is my great 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 grandfather. Wow. <laughs> I'm a real. Okay, here's here's one for you. I had a. Uh, I had a. Uh, Thanks. My second mm -hmm. wife. That guitar is not set up yet. Her grandfather. Oh, okay. Was one of the yeah, I mean, I have it. It's just out of the box. Texas Rangers. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks very and nice. Thank you. It feels nice too. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it didn't sound like a Texas Ranger, so I changed it to Buck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do you any like Rachmaninoff yeah. or that Mahler that was or good, any of that stuff? I, I was well, I had the sense okay, well, Carlotti, but it's a. Let's hear that. I want to say over to the Texas Yeah, that's Baroque. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have. A, I was playing the other. The other one was like. A that's what I like in classical guitar. Yeah, the polyphony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't been playing this stuff, uh, you know. So. My ex-wife <laughs> 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 is... If you haven't heard Tina Gu, look her up. Like, look up the tune from Wonder Woman and stuff. I mean, she <laughs> is outstanding. I met her by accident. I hired her for a session. Oh, yeah. And that was before she started getting a lot of work. And all that. Then I noticed... <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, Libertango. Yeah, that's a, that's a cool piece. I like the descending thing that starts with the minor nine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And chord progression going down. That's that's very nice sounding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not for the guitar. It's uh, an arrangement, but uh, mm -hmm. I think it sounds nice on the guitar. Mm -hmm. very What's cool. amazing really is you don't have a chance to pause. No. Yeah. See, yeah. being a blues musician, we pick our own pauses. Yeah, you hold right. something for. Yeah, you I'll take a breath, right? Yeah, <laughs> you can take you a are breath. like yeah. you have to be. It's amazing. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's another cool. world. It's yeah. a different yeah. animal. Okay, now we get to hear the shredding. <laughs> uh, uh, it's your meat and drink. I, by all means, not yeah, yeah, making yeah. you not do that. One, not that one. Not that one. Yeah, let me try it right. with the trend, maybe, right? Okay. What? You want to try a? I mean, a different tone. I need some gain or something. Okay, so this is Herman the Little Ant. Do you still have that little five bar amp? He wants a little bit more gain. Yeah, man. Oh, doesn't the five watt amp when you turn it up sound like it's blowing up? <laughs> 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 yeah, I can't have that much volume. So let me. Uh, the quick commercials. This is a Dumble clone. Ooh. I like so the I, water uh, bars, but. My guitars always go way out of tune when I use them. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's the struggle. You know, I, I want to get, like, maybe a die tech pedal or something there. Oh, yeah. Because it's too much headache. Yeah, yeah like a, a pitch pitch shifting pedal, like one of those. Yeah, the way I play guitars go out anyway, because I do a lot of bending and vibrato. Sure, yeah. There you go. I think you incorporate it. Why don't you yeah, I really it? like what the last piece. I really like that oh, piece. Thank you. It's very nice. Yeah, see, I have to follow you. you know. <laughs> I, I noticed you didn't Bravo. use a lot of vibrato because the spreads are so big that it's hard to do vibrato. Yeah, well, it's just it changes all the touch. You know, I, I play the nylon string guitar, so the neck okay, is wide. So we have any wide yeah. So it's very the tough. Nylon, nylon really is <laughs> wide, so yes, it's a totally different game. Electric guitar and vibrato are just yeah, the wiggle is more game. Yeah, it's oh, it's kind of mm. the touch is very different, right? So the vibrato and the electric guitar. It, it, it responds to the spread of the, the nylon string, and it's a bit sometimes it's a bit stuck. But when you hit that sound on the nylon, it's not as bad. What's bad here is the, is the, it, it's kind of between the guitar. I've been playing on these guitars. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Wait, wait. Uh -huh. Right now I'm exclusively in the world. Kind of there's another oh, there channel. Is. Right. Oh, you know what? I did. You know what? Yeah. Do you have one of those tube pedals? Uh -huh. We could do one of those. Mm -hmm. That's uh, this might the room might blow up. Well, <laughs> so I wrote a song about my car catching fire, and it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> you scream through the whole thing. I haven't played in a band since 2019, I led and about then COVID happened, and then I, after that I, I was I led like, about 50 bands, and they all wound up being headaches eventually. Mm. I mean, at one point they're like family, and then sure. you sign contracts and everybody oh, like starts to figure out the yeah. box yeah. and ice yeah. and throw yeah. on the floor. Family starts they to quit in one direction. I switched to just playing studio about 20 years ago. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oh, I still like playing in the studio. Thank you. Also, when you make a mistake, you just fix it. Of course, yeah. <laughs> when, a string, when a string breaks, yeah, I'm nothing without you editing. Hold of yeah, right. <laughs> Now you said when you came in, you said you were more of a collector than a player. Now, yeah. I mean, have you done band stuff in the past? I, I did in college. Okay. Yeah. Um, after college, I I went to college in New Mexico, and then I moved out here, and then after that, I focused on the, the real right. career. Um, oh, yeah. so I've been I've been doing that, but I uh, when I first moved to LA, I did tech uh, for a lot of the local bands, so sure. um, you know, kind of got into the music scene that way. But then, you know, got married, had kids, found the, found the real career path. Um, yeah, well, wives always like you when you're a musician, all the other girls like you, and then you get yeah. married, and suddenly they don't want to be married. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. I, just got, I just got new wives. Hello. Oh, hi, how are you? Hi, come on in. Hey, David. Hey, how are you? <laughs> hey. Come on in, dude. Glad you're 
you made it? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know the. I didn't know I'd be entering from the backstage. Oh no, no it's we're fine. Just fine. Yeah, <laughs> we're all hanging out. Good to see you. Man. Good to see you. Hello again. Hi, good to Remember see you. Remember the family, right? Yeah. <laughs> Met at the airport. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm John Lutter. <laughs> so, okay. so da my friend David is a Telecaster guy. Here. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so. Okay, so the pedal is in here? Yep. Okay, so let me. Uh, you may adjust. I you're will. familiar with this. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'll put the trim back here on on medium. Okay. And I have, I have it on manual so you can control everything. the bar for this? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we'll do a, the, so, the, the Sophia trim. Yeah, yeah. Bridge. Yeah, it is I the, see how that works. I think yeah. maybe the most expensive yeah. bridge yeah. available. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 500 bucks, right? It's cheaper. There's a uh, titanium Floyd Rose that I was looking at this morning. Really? Yeah, three something. Wow. Uh, all titanium parts. Thank you. 
believe, remember? Nines, Nines yeah. And this is a 25 and a half inch scale length on the standard uh, Fender scale length? Yes. Okay. So it's it's a uniquely adjustable yeah. tremolo. Oh, the pins rest against the body. Is that yeah. what you're talking about? Okay, yeah. You see that? Try a different pin. So it's brass. Okay, yeah. So it stops against the body. Yeah. yeah these. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? Yeah. You all right? Yeah, all right. That was a that's 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 chuck there. <laughs> it's a static. Oh, yeah. it's a static I you hope you tell you get a crotch shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bootleg the distortion. Two overdrive pedal. Mm -hmm. These are like eight, it's like eighteen volt. Yeah, something. Fifteen yeah. or eighteen. Oh. So, uh, uh, you know, rock and roll hoochie poo. <laughs> <laughs> I know it, but I don't know it. Because <laughs> when you were playing before, you, know it, you yeah. hit part of the rip. Button. Oh, I did. Okay. Yeah, the, right. the the bent G to the open E. Okay. On the low string. Okay. So I thought maybe I thought maybe that was in your repertoire. <laughs> You know, I, I'm in a weird position now where, like, I haven't played in a live band since 2019, and that band was, I'm, I'm not going to say the name because I don't like to promote the band, <laughs> it was a bad industrial metal band, mm -hmm. okay? And so all the well, playing I do uh, now... You're on video, so <laughs> if you say the name, you won't promote the band, you'll, like, demote it. No, I'm yeah, but I don't even no, want people kidding. to go I'm look it up kidding. or something, yeah, no, <laughs> they don't need to... If you take if you take like ninety nine percent of what I say seriously, you're yeah. making a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I like I, all the playing I do now is when I'm making a video, or when I'm recording a solo song, which is about pregnant time. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Angela Christopher. Well, that's how society is. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, getting getting an audience to sit through an entire it's three and a half minute yeah. song. You wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't think sad, it would be right? hard, but it's, right. it's incredible. Yeah. Attention spans right. are getting shorter all yeah. the time. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, the internet, every, it's a right now. Yeah, yeah the phone. Sure, yeah. Right yeah. So let's see, I adjusted the uh, pedal a bit.
Violin, right? It's yes. kind of side yeah, to side. Yeah, horizontal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You could play it on bass strings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cat gut strings. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a new. <laughs> yeah. Vibrato is like, it's a, I'm never happy with it, you know, it's, it's like a constant, you know, there's always something about it that I think could be better. I mean, there's, there, you know, there's, there's a few players where I hear them, I'm like, oh, that's the holy grail. Jeff Beck, there. Had it down. Jeff Beck yeah. yeah. He had the vibrato down, plus he used, plus he used the vibrato bar and oh, yeah. that down at the same time. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. That's <laughs> Yes. That's great for you. Chords and stuff. Let's see here. That's one thing. This is because it's got that detent in there. Uh -huh. I mean, it. The tuning I think is pretty good. Yeah. But I do. I wonder if, if, if there's a way to set it up where it doesn't have that detent. Like, can, can those, are those pens removable? Sophia.com. Yeah. Dot com. yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll look at the website. I, yeah. I, honestly, I don't know a whole lot about okay, it. They brought yeah. it down. They, they installed it. They yeah. Explained it to me, but I am not a Floyd Rose or Dick I, I haven't guy. played that guitar yet, but I'm, I'm, I will eventually. I'm yeah. Sure. Yeah. I, I wish I knew more about it. But yeah. Well. well, there's probably. I bet. I bet there's a way to remove those pins. So what's what's the problem with the pins? Well, I mean, it's good on one hand, and I think it's a little bad on the other hand. It's got these brass pins in here that push against the body, and it it makes it so when the when it comes up all the way, it braces it. Like a governor. Yeah. But. If you know if you're trying to do something kind of subtle with it, then those pins are kind of in the way, and like you can't pull up on it very much. So you can't like pull up like uh, three frets if you want to do that. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, I mean it's the way it is now. It's that's that's as high as you can go. That's a 
it's a, it's a half step, you know, it's one fret. Yeah. Yeah, that's not enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta call up Sophia and ask him about it. And when you when you push it down, you can hear. When you push it down and bring it back up, you can hear it hitting the stop. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it was clean, you probably wouldn't hear that, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, for the tuning, it's going to be good. And I like the tuners themselves. It's really smooth. The tuners are really smooth. Yeah. David, how are you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I don't mean to be ignoring you here. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> He ran on the stage, man. Yeah. <laughs> the guitar actually sounds really good for that distortion. It does, yeah. <coughs> a very good sound. Yeah, these these pedals are. Uh, I haven't heard that guitar before. I've played most of them and heard, but you know, I've been doing demos one at a time. I'll, yeah. I try and do like three or four sounds on each guitar. Yeah. Well, I I love. Yeah, I have played this one. Yeah, with the EMGs. This one and uh, the Royal, I really like. I Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, that was different. Mm -hmm. That's just there. Yeah, they came to me and you know they they offered this opportunity. They mm -hmm. installed that and said try it out. And yeah. That's why you're here. I'll give them the feedback. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll look at the website okay. to make sure I'm not. Uh, well, I don't think it's supposed to do what what you're complaining about. It does wouldn't make sense. It was set up by the owner, the guy that designed Sophia. Well, if you can only raise it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that doesn't... I'm a hearing. Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean Strange. somebody else hasn't picked it up and, you know, changed something on it, too, so... Yeah, I'm sure it has its... It's, uh, it's probably different ways to yeah. set it up, yeah, yeah. I would think, I would think, you know, I'm sure it's got its pros, you know, by doing that. Yeah. It probably, it keeps it in tune, you know. So right. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm just assuming, too. Yeah. He's a very much a detail-oriented, smart guy, so mm -hmm. I'm sure he has all the answers. I love, though, we've got blue, red, I know. white, ah. black, and gold. And, and gold. <laughs> yeah, it goes with any guitar. <laughs> right. It's uh, yeah. not, maybe not the best color choice, but uh, it stands yeah. out. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah. Did you ever play his DeVille guitar? I don't think so. The one the that's Deville? right in the front there. Yeah. Um, that's my favorite guitar. I don't think, I, no, I don't think I played that one. Yeah, yeah. It's, cool. it's not a very flashy looking guitar, but it has a nice vintage sound to it. Okay. Yeah, just twist it. I can hold that one for you if you want to try it. Sure, yeah. He gave it to me by accident and became the favorite one that I tried. <laughs> I thought I was getting a different guitar. I opened up the case and I went, well, this isn't what I thought I was getting. The bed will be in the shop, right? I was expecting the toggle to be up here. Perfectly in tune. Right? It's a full sound yeah. of guitar. Yeah. I live with a guy that played with the Parliament Funkadelics. Okay. And he hears me testing these guitars and he never says anything to me. Yeah. But when I had this guitar plugged in, he came running out of his room and he said, That guitar sounds amazing, man. It's so full. Yeah. What, uh, Chuck, do you know what pickups are in there? Are these your 
Bootlegger, Bootlegger Night Night. Okay. Humbuggers. Okay. Yeah, listen to that. The percussive. Yeah, this sounds amazing. I got I tested the guitar by accident because I saw somebody in his band was playing a guitar and said, Oh, it sounds pretty good. But it was a different guy that I was talking about. Okay. So he gave me the one ah, that I thought I was yeah, talking yeah. about. I got it home and I, yeah. I wasn't too impressed with the, the look and stuff and I but then then when I put it in my hands I said, Well there's something kind of vintage feeling and when I plugged it in Oh yeah. You can play jazz, you can play rock, you can yeah. you can play it all on this one. Yeah. How long have you, uh, you've had this model for a long time? Yeah, right? that yeah. was one of the original bootlegger models. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah this is great, man. Six, seven years. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they beautiful. aren't selling too much, but I told them, I said, I'll do a separate commercial on this, because I really, I believe in this guitar. I think yeah. it's just a, I think it's a, a real value. Like, it, it sounds as good as the really expensive vintage guitars. Mm. Yeah. Maybe better than most of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, this is great. For those of you who are listening, it's the DeVille. The DeVille. <laughs> The DeVille. DeVille. Yes. No, I mean, <laughs> An excellent value. <laughs> I, I was amazed by it. Yeah. And, and, you know, the wood on the fretboard and the cutaway, when I took it out, I thought, well, you know, I guess I got the wrong guitar, but I'll do the best I can with it. Right. And then I plugged it in, and I played jazz, I played rock. Everything I played on it sounded perfect, and I didn't have to, I didn't even have to produce pedals on it. I can, right. I can get it to do all that feedback just on the back. Oh, yeah. It has breath. You know, in Hebrew, that's three, three parts of the soul. And all of them mean breath. And, uh, you know, when I was doing guitar, I wanted to get the, the soul in there. The breath is the soul. Right. <laughs> no, I'm sure it was delivered no, I mean, yeah. I, carefully planned out. People guitars like this and they don't come out as good. Yeah, you know? I think you, you have to have some kind of like magic, you know, it's right. like yeah. magic accident. Like you go, wow, this really works. <laughs> Jazz. 
Yeah. You know, hollow it's body, really double arch. Guitar, but yeah, well, I'm not, you know. You can play blues, you can play rock. I mm -hmm. mean, this guitar, you can take that guitar to a session and maybe take the, his uh, single barrel that he's got, which uh, has another sound. Mm -hmm. If you have those two guitars, you could be a session player. You wouldn't have to bring 20, 20 guitars. Yeah, nice. every this, sound. this is the single barrel. Yeah. Single barrel is very That's nice. Cool. It doesn't distort very well, but it's right. it's a great natural sound. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah. Is it um, semi or fully hollow? That is yeah. full hollow. This is semi hollow. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of flat, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, back. I guess it. You know, I don't have one of those thumbs that bends backwards. Yeah, yeah see, you've got that. <laughs> yeah. But I, I can't really, I can't really well, you, you go backwards. Opposite. Yeah, I'm, I, like, yeah, I'm talking about like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to, I don't hold I mean, it exactly straight, but, uh, flat against the string. Yeah, flat's what you do. Yeah, yeah. but I, and I can't, I mean, I'd have to, like I'd have to do something right, really, right, off. Right, yeah, Marty Friedman, right, yeah. But for me to, to go, Forward is there easy, so. Yeah. No, it's great, man. But if you, if you do too much, then yeah. it's mm, yeah. weird sound. Everything has a rake now. As you go up the as you go up the fretboard, nothing goes wrong, you know. Yeah. No, and most yeah. guitars, as you go up higher, you got to kind of adjust a little bit. Yeah. Well, this has a very consistent sound yeah. to it, right? You know, the tone. <laughs> I've been beaten down now. No, I'm not. I can't. This is one person in the middle of whatever it is. I'm in charge of marketing, design, development, sales, and shit. Right now. And I'm the, the, the uh, marketing aspect is the worst of them all. Why well, I have friends like this? Somebody, somebody comes in here and they see all these wild designs of yeah. Fancy hardware, and they're all good guitars. Yeah. So they don't look at this one. Right. Yeah. Good but guitar. if they played it, yeah. they'd have to have it. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Uh, There's a difference between a guitar buyer and a guitar player. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Meaning you're referencing everything that a player has an ear, right? That's maybe twenty percent of sales. Mm. I mean, this is the guy that you know knows. Because I talk to everybody, I meet you know, I meet everybody. Right, uh, but your 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 guitar buyers, if they heard the name Les Paul or something that everybody wanted, they'd want it because they're a guitar buyer and they know that that's what people want. Well, they want it because they know the name Les Paul is very successful. Yeah. Right. They think they want it. Well, this it's like buying a Harley Davidson. You may not want a Harley this Davidson. This guitar is good enough to become a word of mouth legend. Yeah, well, that's good. I've, I've played all the vintage guitars, and they, you know, even the best vintage guitars are a little screwed up. This one's consistent all the way up the neck. All the sounds are good. All the pickups sound perfect. Yeah. 
Sounds good. What's the source? And, and it's only six ninety nine with the case. <laughs> so it's an autograph like it's on Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you that it, you know, if word got out how good this guitar was, people would just dance about it. <laughs> Job, Chuck. Oh, I like I looked into it. <laughs> I what? just have wild ass ideas, and I hope they work out. And, uh, Tell it. us, you know, what's what's new or coming up soon for for bootleg. I mean, you were telling oh. me about you got the fan fret model here, oh. right? Yep, uh, the jazz version yeah. uh, of the Aspens, which okay. uh, now I'm thinking about in a nylon string version. Yeah. Uh, we'll have it in a standard fret and a fan. Okay. Right? okay. Um, that's a really weird guitar. I mean, that's yeah. complete. I mean, nobody else has that. Well, not that I'm aware. Sure. Yeah. Anybody else have a semi-hollow body, headless, electric, fan, bridge guitar? And, right? and how does he weigh so many things? Yeah. Yeah, it's like four pounds. It's balanced so well too. Uh, well. And that's you know that's um, I believe bootlegger has to push forward and be unique, and that's what I've always done with my headless guitars. Then I have you know my more conservative vintage style guitars. But what's coming up next is the cognac. Cognac. I like my whiskeys <laughs> and drinks. So um, yeah, I'm just like pretty sure. I don't think we've seen it. I don't think so. No. Yeah. So but it's not made yet. Yeah. Let me <coughs> while you're pulling it up. Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. The spade has been a real popular one, right? Then my best seller. So have, but you've had that for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, have there been guys who got the spade, and they're headless guys, and then they went to this? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Right. I've had guys who own the spade. Some guys demanded. only play headless. Yeah. yeah. They demanded. Right. I make a new version. You know. That's okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's a larger body. You know, it's a very progressive design. Yeah, yeah. And um, I couldn't do it. Um, I kept trying to design something that would work as a bigger body spade. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was getting closer and closer. Then my buddy Ken in Seoul, Korea, Ken, Ken said that he has a, uh, a Japanese guitar designer mm -hmm. that he's passed, he's run my ideas by. Right. And he said, yeah, I can finish that for you. Yeah. And... Um, I got the guy's name, I looked it up, he's famous, mm -hmm. but to have him look over the design and have him adapt it, you know, to his style or his, to make it a real guitar, mm -hmm. wasn't that expensive. Mm -hmm. To use his name. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> was very expensive, so I'm, I can't use his name, right. but he has one. Okay. And uh, yeah, I mean, so I'm proud that he took my general idea and mm -hmm. finished it. And I look at the abstinence now, it's a little bit, um, compared to other headless progressive guitars, it's probably a bigger chunk of work. The body? Yeah. Yeah, what, yeah I mean that's is, true. what I mean is, I see a lot of your guitars that are like, uh, they're like, you know, everything is like rounded down or it's yeah, like, you know, thinner or slimmer. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is still a solid, heavy, firm piece of wood. You know, we didn't do that. So, yeah. well, it's got the progressive body and the cut and everything. It's still, you know, it's still a solid, you know, you know guitar, right? right? Yeah. So, uh, when I go to NAMM, I see a lot of these, you know, they're like, 
thin seems to be you know popular yeah. and uh, I'm kind of proud of that that it, we didn't go that direction yeah, no. and that it's a very solid piece of wood right. it's ash and maple you know maple stinger mm -hmm. with these circles back mm -hmm. and ash uh, swamp ash ranges and yeah. uh, it's very successful I mean I just shipped one I shipped my first guitar it's very funny I put it up on Facebook I said I took a beautiful picture with Australia no Austria Austria okay right <laughs> So I, you know, I got a picture. Australia, Austria, what's the one? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. And I go, I shipped to a yeah. lot of places in Europe, never Austria, right? Yeah. So this guy responds, the hills are alive with the sound <laughs> of a bootlegger. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's nice. pretty funny. <laughs> so yeah, when you get, you know, when somebody from Austria gets a hold of you and says, I want to buy that guitar, yeah, you're nice. pretty like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. You know, because right? A Vienna trained musician. <laughs> yeah, could be. I, oh, I owned a recording studio, and I was selling guitars out of the studio. I have a few, it's like Reverie, it's a good company. Right, right. A couple of other like small brand guitars, and then I just kind of thought, you know, heck, I make race cars, I sell those, and I sell mm -hmm. mine. I like design, I design race car parts, so I thought it'd be fun to try my hand on guitars. Never thinking that it would be anything at all. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, why would I? I'm not a name musician. I'm not a, you know, engineer and such. But well, neither was Leo Fender. Yeah, okay, but it worked. You know, I just what happened was you're more of a musician than Leo Fender. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, not, not knocking Leo, but I met a company called Muse Inc. and uh, they made a few guitars for me, guitars for me. Uh, then at NAM, the owner Ken Kim, who I didn't know at the time, came to the booth and saw the guitar. And he looked at me and he said, we got to make better guitars. Mm -hmm. Because I really like what you're doing. These guitars are fine, but they're not going to go anywhere. So he, that's when he said to me that you have my factory. You have the ability to work with my engineers and, and produce you know, guitars, good mm -hmm. guitars. And uh, it took a while, but it happened. And Steve Stein got involved you know, with the Royal, yeah. which is right there. That's my medalist guitar. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, we continued designing like the ride, the Tilly style, and then the Hounder, the uh, Hound Dog Taylor style. Um, and little by little, they just found their own identity. You know, it's just basically it. And the new one, the Cognac, what's that? Oh, let's see that one. You know why I named it Cognac? There's a song, uh, I think it's Buddy Guy, okay. that's singing about, you know, like drinking Cognac backstage or whatever. <laughs> and they can't afford it, but they're, you know, whatever. Oh, that's great. I gotta, gotta use that. Buddy guy can afford it. <laughs> no, but the song, yeah, the song is about a. Okay, I think if I hide this one, it's our like gallery. Buddy guys like ninety already. Wow. Okay. And it kind of looks like. Oh, a look at that. Let's think about it. We'll share it with everybody, okay. but you get the first look. Yeah. That guy okay. Oh, so, that's so nice these two lines. Those are like that's um, the top, the the face, and then there's one on the back, right? Yeah. This line is on the back of the body, like a belly cut. Yes. Okay. It's still turned its head. Though. All right. Can everybody see this? It's got different dimensions. It's hard yeah, to this. I cool. see the word yeah. thing there. This is the outline here. Oh, yeah. 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 So it has like the body, but the the face of the guitar is slightly mm -hmm. up from the body of the guitar. Is about mm -hmm. the best way I can explain. And the headstock it's is going to be the same it's the with same the, the recessed well. wood. Yeah, you know, one right there. It's painted. The okay. Yeah. That's cool. And it's coming out like, so this part mm -hmm. is black. It's like a uh, matte black. Okay. And then the back part is wood. Oh, wow. Look, okay. Right? So, yeah, it's cool. going to be. Yeah. Uh, we have a new design. See, little things like that, mm -hmm. that took me months. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, I'm designing, oh, I want a skull. And like, Oh, the skull is cool, but you know, it's good. People aren't going to want a skull on their guitar. Oh, okay. Then I did the Fleur de Lis because it's New Orleans, it's the guitar, mm -hmm. Southernist. And then it looked like the Saints. Like, oh, I can't, I don't want to be a Saint guy, you know. Mm -hmm. So I had to just work and work. And then I got into voodoo um, uh, art. Mm -hmm. You know, I was designing all these things like dots, dots, and crosses and stuff, but it really did look too voodoo. Yeah. It looked kind of intimidating. 
So we just kept working and working, and it finally came down to something that is somewhat, oh, it is still the floor it is, small, but with the swirls around it, okay. to me it gives me like a real Mardi Gras, New Orleans kind of thing. You see that? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Yeah, thanks. So, I mean, it's just something like that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like you think it's nothing. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, and you like, want to get it perfect, though. You want to get yeah. it right. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I mean, I sleep at night just. <laughs> do, do you have any uh, any idea on a time frame when these are going to be uh, uh, available for people? Uh, later this year. Oh, great! This year. Okay. This year. Terrific. It is 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 the plan as long as we don't have more national COVID right. emergencies yeah, yeah, yeah. and Korea doesn't shut itself down again. And yeah. Yeah. For all the things you you deal with, you know. Oh, it's, 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 uh, was Orianti in here when she said that thing to you that you told me? Orianti was at uh, my studio, Studio Six Thirty Seven in uh -oh. Hermosa. Mm. She was doing a video for Fret Light, the mm. light, you know, the guitar that the lights. The light lights on the fretboard, yeah, yeah. yeah. He saw that. <laughs> so she, she told him. <laughs> yep. She told him that. Uh, yeah. He played this she amp. Said. She chose. She sat down. Yeah. You know, went through like five amps we had there. Mm -hmm. She was bringing them in. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have Marshall, Twin Reaper, whatever we had in the studio. And she chose this amp to be the amp to use for the commercial straight through. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of, you know, she didn't know I, I was doing this. So she had right, no clue. Right. Right? Cool. So I'm like, you know, <laughs> what, what are you doing? I go, that's my amp. Yeah. And then she said that if I hadn't already signed with Marshall, I'd want to play it. Nice. I think you could co quote that. She's not endorsing it. She just said she would if she could, but she can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't. She's a sweetheart. She's, she's got a funny to collect, a, to collect a bunch of people that are sponsored that said, well, I can't, mm. you know, I love this, but I can't endorse it. You yeah, know, yeah. Take all those quotes. And put them yeah. <laughs> to me, that's pretty funny. You know, I'm funny really, my humor. yeah, I am, and I love your, your ideas of marketing, but I'm extremely cautious about how I use people. I don't, sure. you know, like a fun story is, and you probably all won't believe it. Everybody doesn't believe it, raise their hand. I don't believe it. Yeah, because <laughs> I don't necessarily believe it either. Both Keith Richard and Ron Wood have this guitar, and they dig it. And the reason I know that is because my neighbor is the Stones tour manager, and he told Keith about it. Um, Next thing I know, I'm getting contacted by Pierre, his tech. And I'm like, you know, come on. you got to be kidding me, right? And uh, they were recording uh, Cocky Diamonds, whatever the current album is, up in Hollywood. And they, they told me that we'll let you know when it's clear for you to come up, and I'll, I'll, I'll give it to Pierre. Mm -hmm. And then Pierre's like saying, you know, this will be the man. I'm like, all right. So I'm, you know, I'm like waiting for the call, right? And then I get a call, all oh, things have changed. We're gonna send one of our runners down. Mm -hmm. So I met the runner. Yeah. Gave him the guitar. He took it to Pierre. Pierre got back to me and said he dug it. And he gave it to Keith. Mm -hmm. Says it's on tour for this current cocky diamond. We're probably pronouncing it wrong. Uh, in the case for them to have like in the green room or the hotel room. I, I doubt it's going to be sleeping. I'm going to stay with that. But just the fact it's going to be sure. in the case with those other guitars yeah, yeah, is really cool. cool, right? Yeah. So then my neighbor comes over and goes, well, you know, Ron Wood wants one now. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. all right. Yeah. Am I going to get a picture or something from this? You know, because that would be a big help. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm hoping that during this tour, he's upcoming. Oh, yeah. He's getting me. I'll have seats at SoFi, and I'll be taken well care of by him. And I miss meeting the band once before from that because who, who here is, you were married, you're married, you were married, you married? Some background? No, single guys, all right. Yeah. Three times. Here's a very <laughs> bad story. My neighbor gets me tickets to go to uh, Milwaukee to catch the Stones there, a smaller venue, that's why they went out there. Buddy Guy was opening up, you know, love Buddy Guy, we mentioned that, right? So uh, we have backstage passes, but it's the corporate backstage. So I found out there's corporate backstage and then there's the band's backstage, right? So we're with the suits and stuff, but the food's free, the drinks are free, you know. It's Rolling Stones corporate. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, hey, that's cool in itself, you know. So then I look at my watch. It's like, oh, buddy's going on in like 20 minutes. So I, I told my wife, hey, you know, I'm going to go um, catch buddy. So just give me five minutes and so we'll go, you know. So, well, okay, that's fine. And then, you know, five minutes up, she's drinking, talking, having fun. It's like, okay, it's done. I'm going to our seats, right? Leave her there. I get to the seat, right front row. I mean, this is beautiful. Out comes Buddy Guy. I'm just shit hyped, right? Come home. My neighbor knocks my door. He goes, where were you? I go, what? He goes, I came to your seats like 10 minutes before Buddy Guy went mm -hmm. on to take you backstage to meet the band. <laughs> <laughs> So to this day, I blame my wife. Yeah. That's Damn. <laughs> so I, I, you know, you, you should have known to gone to the backstage corporate because you yeah. gave us the statement. That's true. Because yeah. I was gonna take you back and meet the band. Did you say that you flew into Milwaukee to, to watch them? Yeah. Wow. Uh, Milwaukee has a, a festival, a, a rock Fest. festival, and they. I know the people that started there. Oh really? I grew up in Milwaukee. Okay. Yeah, they they had the first act at that outdoor, um, kind of like how the... Uh, it's a big fairground where that's all music. Right. Well, that's where it was. And they had the biggest outdoor stage. That's the biggest festival in the country. Yeah. I want to go back for that festival. Uh, we just went Every Sunday. for the Stones. You know, but, uh, I thought about I could go there and, and work it for two weeks. That's came up with the <laughs> idea with some managers with Spanky and our gang and the Turtles. Yeah. He was a big brother of a friend of mine growing up, and then he kind of flopped in his management thing. I went back to Milwaukee with this cleric and talked him into having a festival, and then it became the biggest festival. Yeah, yeah, it's a very cool yeah. area. I, I, I enjoyed being And then, then we go back to our hotel, which is like walking distance from the festival. The big tour bus pulls up. It didn't have any markings on it, but I mean, it's a beautiful tour bus, right? And uh, running out of the bus, Probably the drummer, um, Charlie Watts, was already passed. No, wait a minute. No, they had the bass player. Charlie was there. The bass player runs into the hotel. You know, I'm imagining running to his room, grabbing his gear or whatever, and throwing it on the bus, right? So we're just sitting there, right, you know, watching the bus, seeing the people in the bus. And you can only imagine that's the Stones bus. You know. But... It was fun. I, I recommend Milwaukee for music. And I recommend Austin for music. Sounds like Southway. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Les, Les Polo was from Milwaukee. Well, from Milwaukee, sorry. But his kids were from Milwaukee. Yep. They had a good time in Milwaukee. I did, I, I did not drink any beer. <laughs> they like to drink I'm glad you laugh because. <laughs> <laughs> they like to drink I Milwaukee. drink a Milwaukee. bit of Milwaukee yeah. beer. It just wasn't. Come on. It, it, what is it? The song Milwaukee. That's how I felt. Well, it's, it's past five. Yes. But uh, we I've got lot. some posters yeah. and stuff if anybody wants anything. Yeah. We'll take some pictures and all that I stuff. Have a poster. I'll have a poster. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Take as many as you want. Oh, sign. <laughs> you want to send a couple? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to thank everybody for coming. I thank appreciate it. So now you know I'm here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, bootlegger guitar, and uh, we are doing a lot of, oops, sorry, cool no things, so check us out. What was that? Okay, cool. How do you spell that? A-A-R. A-A-R, all right. Oh, yeah, pleasure, man. Pleasure. Nice meeting you briefly. All right, buddy. No, 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 it's, it's, it's perfect. Fitz wanted to fill up the numbers. And yeah, for sure, yeah. man. And uh, David, I'll call you later. I've got a good story from when I went to Chino. Recently. I want to see it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
want the torch for this stuff? Sure, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna take Bob's stuff. Oh, you're gonna take Bob's? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
out in the valley. You? Yeah. So, uh, so you're gonna, I, I was like, mm. you're gonna drive off the valley. I'm gonna yeah. just go freaking late. Yeah. Yeah. So coming down here on the way. Oh yeah, yeah. Is this yours? Yeah. Oh yeah. How? I I I I unjuiced my phone. Playing with the Xbox. His too. <laughs> yeah, that's the company car. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. What year is it? Uh, that's a 54, right? Yep. 54 yeah. Cadillac Ambulance. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, I saw that coming down the street, and I thought that. I never oh. thought Memphis was before. Yeah. Is it new? Yeah, it is new. Yeah. yeah. About four months. Yeah. About four months. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And, uh, I saw those uh, accordions up there.
Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. [laughs] I didn't realize they were coming. [laughs] They are now. They're taking all Shandy's crap. No, they're taking everything. There's Andrew and Lucia, obviously, and Thomas. Obviously we'll have Thomas and Lucia, yeah. Yeah, and then Shandy and Melissa. Yeah, Shandy and Melissa. Oh, yeah, Melissa's [inaudible 1:21:00.62] Sorry, I could have [laughs] [laughs] All right. Oh, well. Oh, well. [noise] Well, we can do that. Woo! [laughs] Or we don't have to make those ones, we can make the other ones. Yep, or we don't have to make cookies. [laughs] True. Be nice. Oh, I will [inaudible 1:21:57.06] I dunno, you [laughs] You don't wanna, we, how do I desert like [inaudible 1:21:00.83] How many totes of Where's my Do you wanna make cookies from Like from, you have, you have ones from scratch right here or what [inaudible 1:21:07.30] Scratch? From scratch, is that what you're saying? Or Yeah, all cuz all the baking stuff is in there. [inaudible 1:21:11.10] You got chocolate chips or whatever? [laughs] That's the first thing she buys. [laughs] Yeah. It's like the guilty pleasure? So what do we need? Chocolate chips. We just now bought these, yeah. Diet Mountain Dew. I know, it's so good. [laughs] Oh, when did we buy it? Like just recently. Here? Yeah. Like at Costco. Costco, mhm. What about the milkshake for the milkshake? Yeah. Just doesn't, doesn't really matter. Not really a fan of the milkshake. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't remember the last time I had it. Might be tastes like milkshake. No, it's just pure milk. [laughs] Yeah, I think it's Costco. You get what? Really? Oh, Costco? [laughs] I was like, "What the heck?" But then again, yeah, Costco is supposed to get cheaper. It's like, whatever. Meat meatetarian. Meat petarian? Yeah. [laughs] Not really a fan of the taste of raw milk. No, not my favorite veg. K, uh, well done. Do you wanna do the honors? No. Okay. Uh how about I do this? Can someone be in charge of washing them? He can wash his hands. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so can someone be in charge of washing the eggs? I can wash. And then just half them so that they cook faster. [noise] And then Mike, what you can be responsible for Do we have a bowl? Is there a bowl? Oh. Oh. I guess we wanna wash it? Are they? Oh they are washed already? Oh. The salad? What? Yeah, there. There. No, you will, you can cut this into the palm size. [noise] And then What? It's washed already. No no, you have to wash them. Wash the eggs. This is for the salad. There's onion over there. What else goes in the salad? [noise] Scusi, scusi. And then the avocado. 'Scuse. Is this the meat board? Or the wood? Yep yep yep, that's a good one. All the potatoes? Um however much you think we can eat for this meal. All right. [noise] Should we just cook the whole thing and then cut it later? No, you should cut it and then Yes. No, cuz then it'll be, it'll be more moist. What else are we eating? We're having salmon and Hmm? Cuz otherwise you have more moist escaping from all the cuts. [noise] No but shouldn't we do the oven rolls as well? Cuz There's, they're gonna burn. Yeah. Okay, so we leave it in there, right? Some can fit in that. Two pizzas? Two pizzas? Okay. Yeah, and then we have three slices of pizza. [noise] Three slices of pizza? It's gonna be awesome. All right, except for those ones. Yeah, three slices. [noise] Nope, three slices. Aw man. Is this all the fat? That's pretty good. But each slice is gonna take up quite a bit of space. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Except for this one. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. But is it cuz of the bottom that's made of fat? Yeah, it's all the fat. Yeah. Gotta admit though, I like this one. This one's pretty good. Is this all the fat? Yeah. I think that's, did you say four? I think it's four, yeah. What do you think? Four. Four slices. [noise] Hmm? Four slices? [noise] Yeah. [noise] Does the top have a rosin in it or no? Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think it does. Or is it just me? Studying? No. Hmm? Maybe. Yeah, studying. Hmm? Maybe. Yeah. Or we're gonna have to cut it and then it'll be, it'll cook evenly I don't think we can cut it like this. Oh, crap. Yeah, these are really sharp knives. I'm gonna wash mine. You gotta be patient. Good steaks need patience. Yeah, Mike. [laughs] We were playing Coup. What is this? I'm the, I'm the most patient. Oh, good. You were the most patient. Oh, Susie.
That is seven ninety nine duplicate pages and sheets as part of the technology to publish them. A standard matrix similar to SARS has two thousand bucks. Mine is seven ninety nine. So you need a video editor? Have you ever thought about uh, just advertising for an intern? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. So. Ah! Well, I'm married, uh, and I'm not rich. Yeah, I, I, could, I could use an editor for sure. Well, you know what? Can I look you up online? Of course. Okay, so I'm looking In the time, I mean, if I got somebody who I could work with for a while, and so they would yes. know I have what a, I'm a looking for, and they would, then it would work out. But right now, it's like, I, I feel like the time it would take me to tell them what I would like them to do is what would be better spent. Yeah. True. Yeah. At some point, I'll do that. Well, this is a good, it's a very good amp. It's a very loud amp. It's five watt. It's two hand wire amp. I made eye contact. So this is a good amp. It's 450. This is oh, my single barrel. Yeah, this here. is also. Oh, now you want to hide me, huh? This is how she bites. Okay. <laughs> this is a so that's your full electric guitar. Oh, I'm so hard. Ouch, ouch, ouch. What is this one? How's your little one uh, doing? 599. She's great. Less yeah. expensive. Yeah, yeah she's great. Well, <laughs> without yeah. the metal pick arm, pretty soon, it's pretty it's soon she'll be the okay. With yeah. the metal pick arm, yeah. like yeah. this, yeah. that's yeah. expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a hundred dollars. Yeah. And I have four extra Pretty? First thing I remember, like the little baby. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Let me show you something. This is 699. Let me show you. Put the ball around the thing. They grow up fast. Oh, my big camera. Take lots of pictures and videos, you know? Yeah, man. I do every day. I do. I do. That's it. 699. Okay. And then this one. That's what people are saying. Brad Paisley. No. 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 It's the guy that Purple Rain guy. Prince. Oh, it's Prince. Purple Rain guy. Oh, the Paisley Studios. Are you kidding me? So. Paisley Park. Yeah. Oh, that's Brad Paisley. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You can do it as you want. Yeah. You're prepared. Yeah. We do. Oh, cool. And I went to high school. Oh, like you grew up there? No, I grew up there pretty much, but when I was there. Awesome, buddy. Yeah. I much appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to take off, too. So I went to high school. Uh, uh, I'm stuck. Uh, 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 well, uh,